right friends welcome back to learning space this is good morning new india and uh, if you look at policies and programs out of uh, around 14 policies and programs modules we have already uploaded 12 only two or three left over and if you look at economy up to 11th module they are uploaded and the total series will go on up to 24 24 for lectures as well as 24 for terminology we are planning to upload them by june 10th and at the same time economic survey already three modules uploaded and the total will go up to 8 to 10 and this is the planning before civil services preliminary exam and all of you are familiar with uh, this revision series as well as q and a discussion series so in view of all these things for the next four weeks this regular current affairs modules will be reduced so from next week onwards every week the current affairs modules will be reduced they will be reduced to almost 50 percent of what we are producing but the content will be retained that will be produced in one or the other formats and up to civil services preliminary exam four weeks is left over so these four weeks overall current affairs regular modules will be reduced please note and this is with the intention of giving more thrust to revision modules as well as the q and a discussion for upsc prelims at the same time completing economy modules completing economic survey modules completing policies and programs modules right and look at the news item prime minister narendra modi offered prayers at the temple at narmada udgam sthal here you see the Prime Minister participated in the Namami Narmade Narmada Seva Atra conclusion at Amar Kantak. And here, please do not forget, when you look at Madhya Pradesh, there are 22 cities out of top 100 in the recent Swachh Sarvekshan rankings. And Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister stated that with the people's participation, he will make Narmada as one of the cleanest rivers in the world. And at the same time, the Chief Minister said, Water treatment plants would be set up in all 18 cities in Madhya Pradesh, which fall along the banks of the Narmada. Right? So, this is all about this news item. If you look at India's foreign trade for April 2017, exports increased by around 20 percent, good sign. But another important aspect is imports increased by 49 percent. Here, one important aspect is oil imports oil imports increased by around 30 percent that is uh, understandable because of the reason oil prices increased this year in comparison to last year but the interesting point to note is non-oil imports increased by around 54 percent this is the cause of worry for the country and if you see the mercantile trade deficit this is 24 billion dollars is exports 37 billion dollars imports so the mercantile trade deficit is now 13 billion dollars right so if you look at this exports imports everything is not well because this mercantile trade deficit is increasing please look into this mercantile trade deficit is the difference between imports and exports of physical goods and if you look at current account and financial account together make balance of payments and here this exports and imports pertaining to mercantile trade, then services, then primary income, then secondary income, all these things we discussed in the economy modules. Right friends, next one, this is about the achievements and initiatives. Now in Press Information Bureau site, one after the other ministries are uploading the achievements during the past three years. And one important point is, these may be useful for your examinations. And if you look at the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, here important aspects if you see, point of sale machines at fair price shops. Under the public distribution system, you have fair price shops. At fair price shops, these point of sale machines were introduced at around 2 lakh fair price shops out of the total of 5,26,000 fair price shops, right? Then one more point is, this is most important, direct benefit transfer. This is K 
cash transfer of food subsidy rules 2015 were notified and subsequently food subsidy is directly credited into the account of the beneficiaries at Chandigarh, Puducherry and Dadra and Nagar Haveli. So, this is directly cash transfer of food subsidy. It is implemented in three union territories. Please do not forget Chandigarh, Puducherry and Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Another important aspect is almost 77 percent 77 percent of ration cards are seated with Aadhaar. This is very very important aspect. 77 percent of ration cards were seated with Aadhaar and one more point is because of this digitization of ration cards 2.33 crore bogus ration cards have been deleted or cancelled. Right? It resulted in rightful targeting of food subsidies of about rupees 14,000 crore per annum and this is the beauty of Aadhaar linkage. Right? And if you go further, one important aspect is stabilization of prices of pulses. Here 20 lakh tons of pulses have been created. I am talking about buffer stock. Buffer stock of 20 lakh tons of pulses was created through the price stabilization fund. And what is meant by price stabilization fund? Price stabilization fund is the mechanism when the government intervenes to reduce the raise of prices in the market. That is one aspect. Second aspect is this price stabilization fund is maintained by Department of Consumer Affairs. Please understand and this is very important. And if you look at another news that is Bureau of Indian Standards Act 2016. Here a new Bureau of Indian Standards Act 2016 was notified and one important aspect is during the year Bureau of Indian Standards became the national standards body of India. So, Bureau of Indian Standards became the national standards body of India. Please go through this. If you look at the next ministry, this is Department of Expenditure as per its news item. Some important aspects are there. One important aspect here is this both the central sector and centrally sponsored schemes were rationalized very very important central sector schemes and centrally sponsored schemes were reduced or rationalized and if you look into this picture this central sector schemes came down from 1500 to 300 and centrally sponsored schemes came down from 66 to 28. You may have a doubt for what purpose? The reason is it will result in better allocation of resources and improved efficiency of government programs. At the same time, plan and non-plan expenditure classification has been done away with. Then the next important aspect is direct benefit transfer. Through direct benefit transfer, this public financial management system or PFMS facilitated direct benefit transfer payments in various social sector schemes and more than 1 lakh crore has been paid using this PFMS that is public financial management system in various programs like food subsidy, Mahatma Gandhi Narega, NHM etc. till February. Then another important aspect is outcome budget. This outcome budget was formulated in consultation with various ministries as well as Niti Aayog and the Department of Expenditure and the consolidated outcome budget of for 2017-18 was presented in parliament as part of budget documents and another point is each scheme. So, you may have a doubt what is meant by this outcome budget. Each scheme will have a sunset date. Sunset date means the completion date or the end date. Sunset date co-terminus with the finance commission cycle. And one more important aspect is third party evaluation is formally built into the appraisal and approval framework. Right? So, this is about outcome budget. Then one more point is as per the recommendations of 14th Finance Commission, flexibility is given to the states to exceed the normal limit of 3 percent. This 3 percent limit is fiscal deficit of state in comparison to gross 
state domestic product. So, here that is 3 percent and now they can exceed up to another 0.5 percent subject to the conditions stipulated, right. Jadhav's trial for sickle says India, here India and Pakistan are arguing about Jadhav case and Pakistan says that as he is a spy, this Vienna convention is not intended for the spies. But India says the execution of the death sentence cannot be done while the court is hearing the appeal, right. So, look into this from Baluchistan, he was arrested, but India says he was arrested from Iran. Then India escapes damage from ransomware, we are going to present one special capsule on this. Then malware continues to wreak havoc in several countries and National Health Service of UK is worst affected. Next summit of this Belt and Road Forum will be held in 2019, says Xi Jinping. And we are going to deliberate one capsule today on this Belt and Road Initiative, right. Please look into this picture. Then electric vehicle policy by December and already this national electric mobility mission plan is available, but nothing much is happening. This National Electric Mobility Mission Plan 2020 was launched in 2013 and the ambitious target is to achieve 6 to 7 million sales of hybrid and electric vehicles year on year from 2020 onwards. For that government is giving incentives also for electric and hybrid vehicles and one program was also launched faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles in India which is popularly known as FAME India under this National Electric Mobility Mission Plan. Nothing is happening under these circumstances. Electric vehicle policy will be unveiled by December, transport minister says, right. Look into the next one. This is advanced pricing agreement program bolster tax certainty this transfer pricing as well as advanced pricing agreements we discussed number of times. So, I am skipping here. Government may set up an export council for renewable energy gear. Here the important aspect is these modules we are importing from China especially and other countries and here India wants to give thrust for manufacturing of the modules required for our solar production. And here, Export Council may ask for key things. The first important aspect is the reduction in the cost of debt. That means, interest rates must be reduced. And the second important point is the cost of electricity. Then the third important point is Exim Bank can finance some of these clean projects, right. So, this is all about government may set up an Export Council for Renewable Energy Plan. Right friends, with this let us conclude today's Good Morning New India. Have a nice day. Thank you.